تحكيم اسلامي لخدمه العراق We are an Islamic army. We will chop up the heads of the Americans, chop up the heads of the French, chop up the heads of whoever you may bring. You're fighting people who love death more than you love life. Living in the West. I know how you feel when I used to live there. In the heart, you feel depressed. The cure for the depression is jihad. And I consider myself the most important for the Iraqis, for the people and for the war. Saddam Hussein could be described as the godfather of the Islamic State. Saddam was obsessed with controlling everything. And he has trained people how to contribute to this control with competing intelligence agencies, with spreading fear, with sometimes killing completely innocent people simply to make clear that everybody can be killed at every moment. And uh, the leadership of IS is replicating this mechanisms. <laughs> ذلك لهم خزي في الدنيا ولهم في الآخرة عذاب صدام حسين realized that you know secularism is not actually working and he said to himself why shall I continue with this secularism I will turn to Islam I will Islamize uh, the, the whole of Iraq uh, and then after that you know the occupation will be fought by the, the, the uh, Muslim real Muslim fighters and that's what he, he did <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. Within a second, signing his first decree in late May 2003, Paul Bremer created hundreds of thousands of new bitter enemies without need. They were opportunists, they were career people. They would have happily served under any new regime. They were the brightest and the most experienced when it comes to organizing a state, organizing an apparatus of oppression, of control, of infiltration. All the skills we see today uh, to a high degree exercised by the Islamic State. This is a message to that despicable swine, David Cameron. If you fear death and that's what prevents you, death will reach you anyway. We are willing to lay down our blood on the soil. Most of the media here, most of the people are talking about the cannon fodders, those, you know, uh, young Islamists coming from the West. But those people are not actually the leaders. They are not part of the collective leadership of the Islamic State. They are marginal uh, figures. You never see the, any clean-shaven operative uh, from Saddam's days. You would see um, running jihadis, bearded guys, yelling Allahu Akbar, killing people. So basically they offer us an image which we already expect from them. We happily swallow what they offer us and the rest is kept meticulously secret. 90. They are very low profile. They are not. They are not like Osama bin Laden. Uh, love the media. They don't show their faces because they believe that it is a collective leadership. It is not actually one man show. You know, we, we have seen uh, Abu Bakr al Baghdadi just once. <laughs> We didn't see his ministers, uh, military planners, we did not see them at all. 
بعد سنين طويلة من الجهاد والصبر ومجالدة أعداء الله ووفقهم ومكنهم لتحقيق غايتهم فسارعوا إلى إعلان الخلافة وتنصيب إمام Baghdadi was chosen because he was the only one among the top 10, 20 who had Islamic credentials. He was an educated preacher. He is presentable, while all the ex-officers would not be presentable because you would have their CV colonel in the military intelligence of Saddam Hussein, which is rather unusual for a jihadi group. قال تعالى كتب عليكم القتال وهو كره لكم This group was essential in the takeover of Mosul. They were basically the sleeping cells on the ground because you cannot take over Mosul with 900 fighters who come from outside. They helped. They were crucial in this. يعني عملية الاستيلاء على الموصل وعلى مجتمع الموصل وعلى قناة الرقة وعلى مجتمع الرقة وهن اللي عملوا البنية التحتية اللي مهدت لهذا لوجود هذه السلطة. Days later, Mosul had fallen. They were happy. Days later, they started to enroll. Uh, they started to uh, to put on display again the big posters they had of Saddam Hussein hidden for years and now they were taking them out again and thought, okay, we are back in power. It took hours that the first uh, Daesh groups came and told them, guys, we understand that you like it, but from now on there is only one symbol, there is only one flag, and this is our flag. So immediately take off this. <laughs> So rise up, my brothers, rise up. Come, we bat no voice. Leur suprême n'arrivera pas avant que les Romains descendent sur Dabir. What the leadership of IS is doing today is much more creative in combining more than only the skills learned under Saddam. These officers, they were raised and uh, were operating in the framework of an existing power, of an existing state. What they have shown us in Syria is that they are able to combine uh, Saddam's tactics, procedures, with, in a way, Lenin's takeover of a country with a small group of men in the state of chaos and anarchy. They are much more advanced and creative in developing the right answer to current situations, which are changing from country to country. So it is trained brains who have developed. It's not only Saddam's revenge from the grave, it's much worse. <laughs> Be the most